Hi everyone and welcome back and guess what I've got a lawnmower coming up next I've just been given this by a friend of mine who picks up all sorts of things so this has ended up with me it's a bit of a sad old rover it looks like it's got some potential it's really absolutely filthy dirty and I think most of that is this here that's the oil fill and that has just been pouring out of there yeah. so yeah it's pretty much complete it doesn't have throttle control it does have a catcher so that's always good when the catcher matches the frame and it's always good when it's got some blades a blade disc the blade disc matches the engine so when you've got a catcher that matches a frame and a blade disc that matches an engine as long as the engine fits in the frame then you've got a match so no pull start going on here that looks okay but we're missing some major component luckily enough in my stash I've got this one and that looks just like it First and foremost, we'll be able to get the pull start back. It actually rivets on. Actually, it looks like it's been drilled off. So, and secondly, I think the broken bit that's moving this up and down is back in there somewhere. It's a tab that holds it down. It's really hard to see, but <laughs> all you can see is the filth. It, it turns freely, it's got compression sufficiently that it bounces back. That's usually a pretty good indicator if it just keeps on going through. Oh, yeah, that's all right. Then you know that just turns freely and keeps on spinning. Yeah, you got nothing. So I might give this a bit of a clean up and it'll give me a bit of a better idea on what I've actually got here see if I can um, get that pull start on or even just spin it over with the drill we'll see how we go check for spark and see if we can get some life out of it okay well I'll bring you back when it's a little cleaner
so here we are a bit cleaner and looking like somebody actually owns it much cleaner down in there actually see a bit of what's going on it's got an air cleaner there who knows how filthy that is but we'll have a look real soon so I think what I'll do is I'll quickly swap over that for that so I can pull it and hmm let me just think on that one sometimes the drill is so much better instead of pull and pull and pull and you just crank it with a drill anyway we'll see if it's got spark and go from there Hmm, not too bad. You can see it was burning, I hope you can see. Burning fairly clean, so that's a good sign. Right, let's uh, get this drill connected. Yes, I'm going with the drill. Okay, you just have to stay where you put. Oh. <laughs> Hang on, I'll be back. It's there. Okay. Got some two-stroke mix here, it just so happens it's two-stroke, doesn't bother me which way around it goes, two or four, squirt a little bit in there, doesn't have to be tight, okay let's see what we get. sound good. Let's try that again. Hmm, okay. I think that just... Ooh. Ouch. I think that just jammed. Right, I've taken the plug out. And I've got some turn. That much it wants to go. There we go. So I might just pull this cover off and check that that uh, coil isn't jamming against the flywheel because it does rotate all the way around now. But uh, oh, just oh, that's stuck again now. All right, let me look into this. Okay, well, we have the shroud off, and in between doing that and now, I've managed to take a big chunk out of the end of my finger, and it really smarts, but uh, it's not a good job until you spill a drop, is it? So, just so you're wondering, as I was turning this around, Got my finger sort of jammed in between there somewhere. It happened pretty quick, so it's a nice big piece hanging off. But anyway, 
That's my tale of woe. Anyway, this thing is turning freely now. <laughs> I say now, but it was actually like it's not catching, not catching there. There's the magnet. Sorry, there's the magnet. But same, same, that's the counterweight. It's not touching. So, and it was still catching. So I just sort of worked it, worked it, put the, the um, screwdriver in the plug hole, like this, and it, piston's going up and down, it just felt like something was jamming, catching, so it's really free now. I've spun it over with the drill, expecting the worst, but it's spinning, so I really don't trust this engine as far as I can kick it. And who knows what's going on down in there and how long it ran with a real severe lack of oil. But doing that again in a second if I'm not careful it sounds okay so I might just squirt a bit of petrol in it again spin it over with the drill see what happens see if it locks up like it did last time worst case scenario I've got another motor that will go straight onto this so if this motor's dead or had it whatever I can get bits and pieces, the muffler's good, the coil, funnily enough these things crack down here somewhere, so quite often keep those, carby bits and pieces are always handy but we won't throw this one out just yet, we'll just uh, see if we can get some sense out of it first. Okay, let's try it again. Okay, so that jammed again. So anyway, I've got the coil off. You can see these surfaces here. Nothing's been scraping on there. Still got surface rust, so I don't think... I did see like a little piece of swarf on here. Not too sure where that came from, but it was there from somewhere. But there's no evidence of it scraping and yes I got it free again but uh, I think as soon as I start winding it over with the drill with the plug-in it will just do it again so I might just pull this, the head off and see what's underneath there see what's in the bore it feels like it might have seized through lack of oil at one time or another so That'll soon tell us what's going on there. So I'll show you more in a minute. Looking at this together, I don't know what that is. If it's carbon, actually. Look at that. That's it's a metal. Yes, that's the crazy bird you can hear in the background. 
Just look at the top of this head. Nothing's been banging in there like a piece of something that's jamming it. Oh, there's a bit of something there. See if I can get you in there closer. Dirty in there, but get that piston right down. That is just grindy, groovy. See my fingernail catching all the way around. Smooth that side, nasty that side. So Looks like this one's destined to be a parts engine, if nothing else. But the frame seems to still be worth a look. Anyway, I'll pull a few more bits and pieces off just for the hell of it. And uh, show you if I'll find anything. Right, so I am curious about this air cleaner. The plug was a good colour. So, I'm not expecting this to be too filthy, but... <laughs> What would I know? Okay, that is pretty caked. So is that? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how that plug was burning as clean as it was. So, do the old hold it up to the sun. Just get it positioned right. Well, you can't see anything through there. Mm, no. So, there's a bit of an idea, poorly maintained, I guess that's what happens. One of the best things I've ever got. Always good to get the keyway intact. Keyway, that's actually the key. Good little score that. That can fix a mower, just that piece. I might as well harvest as much as I can off this thing. There's lots of mowers I get that don't have some of these parts on them. So it's really handy to keep full assemblies. Things like this, they get split. So that's a so it's not going to run with that split wide open crankcase ventilator that is, so there's a good part.
Come on. Things like this, really handy. These get mangled all the time. Not so much that, but definitely that. looks intact quite often you can see the crack because there'll be black around it like it's black in there so the black will show through on the crack that looks okay It's missing one. <laughs> it's got all the usual stuff twisted around there around the shaft but that should come off I can use that on another engine right so that's it for this one unfortunately this one wasn't meant to be but you get that when they're free and Sometimes people throw them away just because bits and pieces break. Sometimes people throw them away because they are dead. So it's potluck when you just get one that comes in the door out of nowhere. You just got to assess it for what it is and take it for how it presents itself. So this will probably live another day. I'll do up the, uh, the frame a little bit and I can drop another engine straight on there. I did manage to get a couple of bits and pieces that are either rusted on other mowers, sorry, other engines. So you get those that are really corroded out. You get those that are broken or missing or possibly not even there, especially this, the outside cover part of that very often missing or parts that have failed no spark carbies are always handy I don't know what's inside that but uh, who knows we might get lucky and you get these full of water and there you take the bowl off they're just corroded and they're trashed so I'll open that up later I'm running out of light now so uh, I'll call that an end and thanks a lot for joining me for this one that didn't eventuate but uh, maybe next time okay thanks for watching i'll see you again soon